that which clings to one single effect as if it were the whole, without concern for the cause, without grasping the real, and narrow is said to be of the nature of dhauna, stomachs. That gnan wisdom which clings on to one single activity, body or any one thing as if it were the whole, and becomes attached to that, without having a goal in life or without a concern for the cause, without a purpose, without grasping the real, and without thinking whether something is right and wrong, and narrow is of the mode of thumus, donus. God has spoken about three categories of gnan wisdom of the mode of thumus, donus here. First of all, it clings on to one thing as if it were the whole. The feeling that there is nothing else apart from one thing is Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas, Donas. That is what Sri Krishna says in the Gita. And you see that this mode of Tamas, Donas is in life, in society, in the government and also in religion that we only have this and there is nothing else from us. This is Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas, Donas. It is shrinkage. Considering one single thing to be the whole, be it an object, person or activity and becoming attached to it is Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas, Donas. An example of this is addiction. A person with addiction knows that it is wrong and everybody around him is telling him that what he's doing is wrong. But yet he thinks that what is in here is nowhere else. This is everything. This is grand wisdom of the mode of Thomas Stonus. Becoming attached to one single thing and seeing the holding, it is grand wisdom of the mode of Thomas Stonus. Not love, but if there is delusion, then the beginning of the state of delusion is such that one, one sees the object of the affection, that they do not see anything else. They consider this to be the whole. If a person likes the object, then they consider it to be the whole, then they say that this is the ultimate. There is nothing apart from this. Understand the difference between grand wisdom of the mode of sattva, goodness, and grand wisdom of the mode of tamas, dullness. Gnan wisdom of the mode of sattva goodness sees the oneness in everything whereas Gnan wisdom of the mode of tamas donus sees everything in one. This is the difference. Seeing the one supreme soul in all the gods and knowing that I go to many different temples and whichever temple I go to I see the one truth of God is an Gnan wisdom of the mode of sattva goodness. But if a person just sits there and holds on to one idol and says that this is everything and there is nothing apart from this then from the perspective of the Gita, this Gnan wisdom is of the mode of Tamas Donus. Principally, there is a difference. And how does this happen? This person does not have a concern for the cause of the action. When he is performing any activity and you ask him why he is doing it, then you will say, I do not know, I am just doing it. He does not know the cause. Objects are small, yet he considers them to be great. They are very small, and yet he considers them to be the ultimate. This is Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas Donus. There are three faults of Gnan of the mode of Tamas Donus. The first fault is that there is a muddling up of the cause and effect. This is because when he is stuck onto one object, then he cannot see anything else around him. Sri Krishna calls this more delusion here. Secondly, he does not get Gnan wisdom of truth. He gets contrary knowledge. Because he gets contrary knowledge, the stubbornness that he is there begins. Because of this, conflicts arise with people around him. This is because of Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas Donus. He does not have Gnan wisdom and yet he considers that everything I'm doing is right and this is the whole. There cannot be anything apart from this. When a person considers his own weakness to be his strength, then these difficulties begin of Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas Donus. This person considers limitations to be the ultimate. When this happens, then Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas Donus begins. And third, he gets deluded by the part. He considers the incomplete to be the complete. If a little has happened, then he thinks that a lot has happened. This is Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas, Stonus. When his own stomach is full, then he thinks that everybody is satisfied. When he gets happy himself, then he thinks that everybody has gotten happy. This is Gnan wisdom of the mode of Tamas, Stonus. I know that this difference has now become clear between the modes of Sattva, Goodness and Tamas, Stonus. The mode of sattva goodness sees the oneness in everything, whereas gnan wisdom of the mode of tamas stonus becomes stuck in one. The latter is called gnan wisdom of the mode of tamas stonus. In the next three verses, the Lord shows us the different types of karma actions. Karma actions can also be of the modes of sattva goodness, rajas, passion and tamas stonus. Look how much the Gita has thought about karma actions. God began speaking about karma actions from many different perspectives from the second chapter, when God began giving his message. Even now in the 18th chapter, God thinks about karma actions, which we'll cover in the next class. End of the verse.